Hello everyone, this is Lobby Designs here, and um, uh, long time since I've uh, made a demon tutorial video, but um, I'm putting this up now. So uh, the next demon, uh, demon, sorry, in line was actually gravity, but I mean, if you don't know what that does, there's probably something wrong with you. Um, I mean, like, okay, so I will kind of go over it, but then so I'll do. I'll be doing two today. So basically, if you go to gravity. You can you can put this um, anywhere like just the icon. You can even hide it. Sorry, um, just hide that. And then the strength you can just change the strength from maybe if we have it on twenty. And you'll see here that if we turn the emitter like that upwards, then instead of just going straight, it falls down like a waterfall or um or something like that. Um, so yeah. I mean, really simple, uh, and that's basically all it can be used for. You can use negative numbers, so that it actually, I'll actually do that. Um, so I put it on negative 15, hit reset, and then just hit simulate. You'll see that it goes up in weird circles. Um, that's just because the angle of the emitter, uh, and, the, and the viscosity and the settings of it. But, yeah, anyway, so... Well, the late gravity. Um, so that's that's really all you need to know for that. And I'll just change the settings of this. Um, and we'll head on to um, the attractor um, demon. Now this is also pretty simple. Um, what you want to do is select it. Then this one, the icon is important. So if we drag this over here, and then you can see that that's kind of like it's it's perfectly in line in line, sorry, on the sideways of that, and if we change the strength to 10, then we hit reset, and then simulate, you'll see that the liquid goes over there, and then hits the ground, and yeah, and then, so you can see that the liquid is going to come up again, and it's going to loop around, and do a nice kind of thing here, and yeah, so I mean, you guys maybe want to do something with that, I don't know. That, that's given it kind of a nice little effect here. And also when you select an emitter, this blue bit is where it's, sorry, actually the white bit is where it's dense. I think that's right. Yeah, actually, no, actually it might be the dark blue bit, that's where it's dense. Um, but yeah, so you can see here it just kind of uh, rotates in a circle. Um, around there and then eventually it'll go into a ball um, so we'll hit reset again and we'll just change these um, the settings of this if you go to attenuated sorry yeah attenuated um, and then you can change actually the um, like what area is affected so if for the internal radius if we go 0 0.5 actually no I'll actually make this large what the sorry 5 and then the external force Five, and then the next. What? What's going on here? Okay, so whoops. Took that on two, and then the external radius maybe four. Now you'll see that if we hit simulate again, the effect is, even though slight, like you probably can't see it that well. It is actually different. Actually, it might not be. Yeah, it might have to just move the. I have to move the attractor. So if we move it over here, and hit simulate, you'll see that if I'm right, this liquid should come up at this blue. Okay, maybe not. Um, yeah, so. I haven't actually really delved that deep into um into this part of the attractors, um, but I mean, really, it, it's uh, you play around with it if you want. I really should have made this tutorial a bit better, like played with it before, um, maybe looked it up, or whatever. But you get the general uh, gist of it, sorry, and um, just enjoy it, play around with it. You can make some pretty cool things. Um, uh, also, a few tips I have. Uh, so you can see here that when it, 
can see that when it hits the ground it splashes but then then leads back up what you can do is like mid simulation so like here you can turn the attractor off and then if you hit simulate it'll actually simulate it without the attractor there and then the um, the forces of the liquid being there like it'll all just change and there won't be any so there'll be no gravity so if we actually go back to here and then chuck a bit of gravity in the force on like 15 hit simulate then it goes down again and yeah I mean I, I, I do this kind of quite a lot like I'll actually the downside is though if you do make a mistake like say with your emitter you want to give it different settings you can't kind of reset it um, because you'd have to like redo everything but yeah, I that doesn't bother me too much like when I've been doing it um, uh, another thing in tractors work through through planes um, so we just take gravity off getting a bloody um, if I just get an attractor and bring it down, you'll see here that the attractor um, attracts the liquids and the particles down here, and they'll kind of go go to a weird circle. I mean, they'll come to a like if you had it for like a few thousand frames, they'd come uh, to an even circle above the emitter. And yeah, just just thought I'd say that. Uh, also, you can have the um, the uh, you can have the attractor on a negative force. So if I delete the circle emitter, and then just get a circle, then just fill it. And I know that I could just do this with with the sphere emitter, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, I, I really should have actually done it. But anyway, if we just simulate this now, you'll see that there's no gravity, which I forgot to put on. But anyway, so nothing's really happening to it, or nothing is happening to it. But then, if we get an attractor, drag it up to the circle, then if we put the force on the negative 5 and simulate that the liquid actually gets pushed out and does this weird stuff here so it's got these weird shapes that kind of look funny and weird and and, and whatnot um, but yeah so that's maybe just some stuff you can play around with uh, hope that tutorial was a uh, good for you I like I'm kind of tired, so I probably missed some stuff, and also I wasn't that in depth with the attractor. I was merely trying to show you the basics of it. Um, but but yeah, uh, so I guess enjoy your 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 days. Um, subscribe, do whatever, chuck me some um, some love, maybe I don't know. Uh, like, favorite the video. Um, do subscribe, please. Uh, because that would be really helpful. Um, check out my uh, my my pack for um for oh, this actually looks kind of cool like an octopus. And na, na yeah anyway. So download my Cinema 4D pack. Um, that'll probably be helpful for you. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Uh, enjoy your day and yeah, keep on um, creating stuff. Yeah, bye bye.